Hey, what's up? This is the Pubcast, episode number six. We got Poro joining us this evening, and Crimson, once again, the OG crew. We back in this. Uh, we got an exciting episode for everybody here tonight. We're going to pretty much cover, right, the DreamHack qualifiers, both round one and round number two. So, uh, Crimson, let's get your little intro going real quick, and, and then Poro. Intro, intro. <laughs> What's your yeah, intro? You should know up? it by what, now. What, what intro am I doing? All right, the EU guess, resident, yeah. Crimson. All right, I get you. Yeah. All right, you. Poro, you, do you know your intro? You know your intro, Poro? Do you know it by the, now? I'm the, I'm, I'm the, the NA resident uh, ex I guess I don't, I don't, I don't get the, I don't get the, the like the, the hardcore wrestling intro that Crimson uh, does. Uh, Come on, man. Man. Well, you were the, the Hollywood uh, chilling in the mansion, you know, made it oh, to man. a land, uh, Poro. So, I mean, you have a lot of titles to your name already, Poro. Um, yeah, next well, time, I, I was trying to give you guys some freedom here on the intros. I guess next episode. No, no, no freedom. Yeah, no, nah, don't give us freedom, man. No freedom. Dude. No <laughs> freedom want, for you we guys. Want it, we uh, want everything done for us. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I'll make sure to send you your margarita after the show. Uh, <laughs> but hey, it, it's a good episode. It's a good episode. Exciting times ahead. Exciting times that we just uh, witnessed. I mean, yesterday. We'll get into that a uh, little, little bit later on here. But uh, Crimson, I'm going to throw it right to you, man. Let's get right into the, the dirt here, the mud. Um, PUBG Showdown is what's called on the ChallengerMode.com leaderboards. Qualifier number one for EU. Uh, I mean, w give us a recap if you want. What sticks out to you? I mean, what's happening, my man? What's happening? Yeah. Um, yes, it was a couple of weeks ago. Just so everyone knows what we're talking about. This is the DreamHack Austin. Um, I guess it, they had some open qualifiers. They had some invitational sort of stuff, didn't they? Um, yeah. But they came up with some teams and they all played together and uh, the top three that got through in the first round was pretty by the book basically it was phase liquid and kingwin actually thinking about well, it kingwin by the not... book, by the book I yeah know. yeah okay but all right liquid and phase i think everybody expected them to get through um navi that was a really close four competition for navi and they came in fourth which they were going to be good about i'm sure at the time um kingwin actually just did really well i mean kingwin We've talked about before they're a little bit up and down i would say as a team sometimes they can really pull out sometimes they really perform um and they did it in the qualifier when they needed to so that's that's mm -hmm. a good job for them and basically the top three secured their top top three spots at austin so that's at minimum that's a thousand dollars straight up minimum, so minimum, you know minimum up, minimum yeah. i mean so that's the only good. reason i said i said anything is because navi right i would have expected them to uh yeah that's true right that's away true. but fourth place uh i mean th that, that was, was unexpected one, so. to be um, fair but yeah yeah and basically yeah i mean phasing liquid just destroyed everyone um there wasn't much competition between them uh between them and anyone else really throughout the qualifiers that was a couple of weeks ago now, but um, there's a few teams I'm sure that were a little bit more disappointed. As you say, Navi, um, Vitality as well, disappointed that week, I'm sure, because everybody expects them to perform. Um, but but there was, it was a really stacked lobby. It was a really high level of competition. Everybody was, you know, everybody wants to get to a land with 50,000 pound prize pools and all that, you know, for first place. I mean, that's, mm -hmm. that's a nice prize pool. So it was a really hard for competition. Poro, do you have any uh, insights on this EU round one qualifier? I mean, I I know you're comfortable with these teams. Oh, Anything yeah. really sticking yeah, yeah. out to you? I mean, it, the the thing that that I think obviously sticks out to everybody is you know Phase still just kind of uh, kind of maintaining uh, a, this level of dominant play for how long? I mean, yeah. they they've been doing this for. You know, Since most of the time, it, well, most of the time in PUBG, you yeah. see, you know, you, you see some teams, some teams will t will come and and you know do really really well for a couple of weeks or or you know even a month, maybe stretch it out, but eventually they kind of fall back down to earth. Well, phase just never seems to fall back down to earth, uh, and and you know, Liquid, it, it, I'm I'm excited to see if Liquid can manage to kind of keep this performance going that they've been having recently. You know, they're another one of these teams. Uh, where they kind of go up and down a little bit, but when they're up, they're really, really up. I mean, they look like world beaters. They look like phase beaters, essentially. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm excited to see if, if they can kind of keep this kind of thing going. And Kingwin, as he's been saying, you know, also up and up and down team, but lately they've been kind of really up. So I'm hoping that they, they kind of keep this going. A lot of, one of the things that you get 
kind of used to seeing uh, during these land qualification periods is that teams will play really, really well. And then by the time the land comes around, maybe they've come back down to earth a little bit and they're not playing at that same level that they were whenever they were qualifying. So hopefully, you know, we'll see uh, the team, all the teams that we yeah, talk about today kind of still playing at that, that high level. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'll um, throw out a little controversial opinion, I guess. But uh, I mean, Faye's undoubtedly good, but they, I would say they are, or what's the way I want to word this? Yeah, I know there's a, lot of, there's a lot of Faze fanboys oh, out there. Faze. And I, I love Faze. I mean, they're, they're, they're a great team. Yeah, yeah, they're a great team. But I think that the other teams are catching up to them. And I think we're starting to see that more and more. I mean, they only placed something like fourth, I think, in, in the PUBG Online series um recently well yeah, and, yeah but that's over oh, yeah 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 and fourth fourth is great yeah sure but it's not like they're finishing first in every competition they're they're highly placed they're they're consistently at the top but they're not consistently winning everything and i think other teams are just starting to catch on they're starting to understand the rotation strategies they're starting to understand what makes cool. phase so good well, i got i got and, something for that you know. because the reason that's happening is because everybody's watching phase in their vibe yeah and copying exactly phase. so i mean that's that's yeah. at least my opinion why they're catching up so it, it's oh, yeah. only a matter of time so. before phase flip phase uh flips the script and throws out something else. Maybe, maybe during the dream hack. I mean, if you think about it, that's some next level, uh, strategy right there. You're going to be counting on the fact that your opponents are copying your old strategy. You come up with a new strategy that might counter that. I don't know. I mean, I'm thinking, I don't know. I don't know if these players even are on this level yet. Um, but, uh, I mean, phase has been doing the same strategy for yeah. months now and yeah, you know, people might be able little... to copy it or whatever, but, they're they're still coming in the top. I mean, it, at the end of the day, they're still they're still having a shot at finishing first mm-hmm. almost every single time. So I don't know. I yeah, mean, I, mean, I, I think mean, I think with the online leagues where you're talking about, I mean that that's you're you're looking back over like the course of several weeks. weeks I mean, yeah. going back to the beginning of the year when they, you know, there was lands involved, there were there was travel time involved. So I mean, if uh, yeah, Liquid, uh, you know, they've been to one. You know, yeah, like this but, is their, this I mean, is... you got to remember this is like um, the second split, right? Liquid or a brand new team at the start of that second split and they finish it in second place, higher than FaZe. Like, you know, they're a brand new team. FaZe have had this same lineup pretty much on and off for the last, well, for the entire scene almost. Yeah. Liquid come in, brand new team, start of the split, and they managed to beat them over well, the course of I mean, 20 games. Have, I mean, that's, that's a big deal. All right, all right, I'm going to have to somewhere. cut you off. I'm yeah. going to have to cut you off. This <laughs> yeah, isn't yeah, the yeah. phase. Uh, this isn't the phase uh, <laughs> podcast. So uh, we already yeah. spent seven minutes over here. Um, let's let's keep this rolling here. Still with the, the round. I don't, hopefully you guys aren't mad at me, by the way. Don't be mad at me. Um, <laughs> with so, the round so. one, we're still talking round Always one. Mad. I mean, we got hot opinions. That's why, you know, our viewers tune in. They, they love us. You know, they comment on all that good stuff. <laughs> um, let's, let's go to round one for NA here. Yeah, do we all have that up? Uh, we have yeah, yeah. Dignitas, first place. Envious, second place. Tembo Storm, uh, third place. And then Totality, fourth place right underneath them. So I'm going to throw this one to Poro first since he is the uh, DNA guy over here. Yeah, I mean, it's it's this is a pretty, uh, pretty standard NA with uh, a bunch of teams that you were like, you, you look at them, you're like, yeah, I can see them making it, but you, you kind of surprised. I mean, it's, it's a it's a grab bag. It's a mix. It's such a mixed bag in NA right now. Yeah. You know, at any given week, any group of teams could finish in the top three. Mm-hmm. And this is kind of one of those instances where Dignitas uh, playing really, really well uh, with the new roster. Um you know, let's say one one reminder of who's on that roster. Here. It's it's all the old uh, shoot to kill people. So uncivil, uh, dids, uh, Wookie Bookie, and uh, Adam dids and Gustav, I guess. Um, yes, yeah, so that's uh, two out of the old lumber mill. Yeah, yeah. Um, guys coming together. Yeah, so you had, you had the, guys, uh, yeah. lumber mill SDK co-op here. Uh, so yeah, so how do you? Uh, I, I'll, before I keep, I know going you were further, upset because of some teams that were upset. actually in no, that upset. qualifier for you. you were upset on last no. episode. <laughs> you made mention of, uh, of oh, they got. I mean, they got kicked out. So yeah, yeah. they got know, kicked out. You, know, yeah. you can you can use you can use the the. That's one prediction all, in the opening of all your videos, all you want, but at the end of the day, you still get kicked so out. So, what hacking. exactly happened then? What ex- would you mind? I, just, I, I mean, all I know is I I saw the the Twitter tweet or the. Or the Discord notification that that uh, they were kicked out. 
Viper Esports was kicked out. <laughs> that was so. it. That was it for stuff for stuff in game and out of game. So. Mm. You know, uh, like I said, if they if they had made it all the way to land and and you know played legit, then I would have eaten my words. But I'm not gonna have to eat my words this time. So. War was right. That's why we got maybe you here, man. Time. That's why we got you here. <laughs> take take a sip. Take a sip. Respect. Respect. Crimson. Maybe though. maybe next time. Maybe next yeah. time. Well, I, I was still going. You oh. interrupted. <laughs> Come on. All right, all right. All right. Na 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 resident. So no. Okay. So I'm glad. To, I'm glad to see Team Dignitas finish first. Uh, and, and then envious. Uh. You know, now that they've picked Venerated back up, uh, got Venerated back on the roster, uh, they seem to be playing uh, even better again. So it's it's like old high ground days where they're coming in and they're fragging out absolutely. So, um, and then Tempo Storm, same thing. So I mean, we we've seen Tempo Storm perform really high uh, at LAN before. So I'm glad we get the chance to see these guys. I mean, these are some some OG teams. Yeah, they're a good. Uh, at least team. in North America, seems so. I'm I'm happy to see them kind of make their way through. And then, uh, you know, totality was right there, man. They were so close. So close. Um, but uh, but yeah, once we once we keep going through the next week, we'll we'll see some some teams that kind of surprise aren't there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Uh, you want to add anything to this, Crimson? Before we uh, chuck it on over to to round number two. Uh, yeah, not, not specifically, but like, um, I'd just be interested to get Poro's take on totality because that's, I mean, I don't watch a huge amount of NA. I try and keep up with the scene and everything, but, uh, that's a team that you constantly hear about the players on the team. You constantly hear about the team and yet they just always kind of can't quite get to that, you know, that top spot or that invite spot or that qualifier. Yeah. What do you think about their team is? Well, I mean, I think that I think what it boils down to is that NA is different than E and than EU in the fact that we don't have you know a couple of dominant teams that just win everything and then ride on the laurels of that we have a, a bunch of teams that are all kind of uh jockeying for position now like that being said okay so phase phase obviously liquid uh, uh, navi those are those are really really good teams i mean it doesn't matter where in the world you put those teams those are the top teams in the in the world but you take those teams out of eu i think you would see the same kind of parity uh that you're seeing in na right now uh, where you have this constant rotation, this shuffle of teams that are all really good, um, and they just kind of they they trade off these top spots. Some weeks, some weeks yeah. they have, some weeks are on, some weeks are off. You just don't see the kind of consistency uh, really that you see mm -hmm. uh, in 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 EU uh, with the presence of those three dominant or three or four dominant yeah. teams. Because honestly, I, I like it like that. Kind of Kingwood's kind of getting there. Kingwood really is kind of getting there. I, I like uh, it like that, though. Uh, every time you watch mm -hmm. an NA match, uh, you know, th they're just kind of on along the same levels, right? You just never know who's going to come out and frag out that night. Um, yeah. it, it makes for interesting games indeed because there's always a different winner. Um, yeah, it's fun. I mean, it's fun to it's watch. Fun. Yeah, it's fun to watch. And I think it's good. It's good for the scene as well. I mean, I know NA is kind of small right now as compared to the other scenes, uh, but we got a lot of heart. We got a lot of heart, Poro. <laughs> no, okay, but I don't want to. That, okay, but that's kind of that's kind of bullshit, right? Because yeah, we got heart. It, well, no, yeah, the, I'm getting because uh, you know one of the things that you get as an NA fan, you get kind of irritated watching uh, whenever you know you get. Man, Just say it. you're already uh, saying it. <laughs> All right, when you get when you get predominantly EU based casting teams covering NA and they kind of just they have this little tone in their voice like oh, uh, look at look at these cute little look at these little <laughs> NA guys Catch going up. out there <laughs> and yeah. trying they're trying so hard you guys and oh let's 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 look at oh they look at they, oh he ran himself over with a motorcycle that would never happen in EU but good try NA we'll get <laughs> like like fuck off really like this is parody this is you know na teams are just as good we're winning you know we're coming in having just as much opportunity at winning land tournaments on the last day as some of these eu teams in some cases we actually won you know ghost winning winning pgl was kind of a wake-up call i think i mean that was a tournament that had phase in it that had you know ruby in it and it was pre-navi but I mean that 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 was a tournament that that was won by NA. So we need to we need to knock this whole like 
this whole like na just being so many levels below eu like really you're riding the laurels of three really good teams and the rest of you are kind of no better off than we are all right Crimson, like, that, how do you want to respond to this I'm a, let him <laughs> get the eu opinion in here let him get the eu opinion for no no i mean i i, I actually agree with poro i think that's totally the case to be honest like there are some like world be the team some really you know top quality teams but phase have always been a top quality team but i don't think it makes the eu seem better or worse by definition if you have when I mean, we do see more teams signing up for eu events and that includes the whole cis region is normally included as eu so that is of course going to be a bigger pool of teams and from a bigger pool of teams you're more likely to get a couple of really good teams right so that yeah. makes perfect sense to me i don't think it's region specific i don't think there's any reason that someone like ghost or you know some of the top teams i think this dignitas lineup is going to be really good i'm looking forward to seeing them um but no i totally agree to be honest i think that's totally the case is there's only i say phase and liquid and navi that kind of everybody talks about when you talk about eu but i think every team under that is just you know is on the same level as as every other NA team. And I'm not right? and I'm not trying to say that they're bad. No, right? no. Like obviously <laughs> yeah, the, the, the top three in EU are just they're just the best teams in the world. They just mm -hmm. all happen to be in EU. But like I'm just saying if you took those teams out of it, you would see this same kind of constant shift that you see in NA, where you have, you know, teams that, that maybe finished fifth or sixth the week before now they're finishing first and second this week and then you know next week who knows maybe they'll finish third or maybe they'll finish 14th i don't know yeah so it, it's like if you if you if you look at eu uh you know how their how their lobbies stack up it kind of looks that way most of the time most but of the time I, I, it's just like this. I don't know. So I, I get, are, are I, I get, I get something. Did I say something get, wrong? Did I trigger no, something? No, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, I'm, you know, I'm, it's, I'm it's, NA. the American flag just, tattoo on my back, Poro. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> it's for life. Uh, it's just, you know, we, we, NA, NA isn't very well represented in mm -hmm. the casting community anymore. I mean, we've got a couple, but that's about it. And I just get, you get kind of like fed up seeing the, the, the like, and maybe I'll have rabbit ears about it. I'm, I might, I might just like pick up every little thing, and I'm just like, they're coming after us. But in that, and maybe that's something on me. Uh, mm -hmm. There are, there are a lot. Of, I mean, I, it's only from time to time, but mm, when I get it, it's grading. So <laughs> that's why we we'll, got you we'll on the show. On every we'll episode, on. we got some we'll type of uh, hot gossip drama from me That's drama, what we from Poro. <laughs> uh, last episode this episode but we, we gotta we gotta keep things rolling on here um let, let's continue with the we're gonna have scoom on the next episode most likely after this conversation by the way uh <laughs> to, to be pitted against Poro. uh but i uh, didn't say well, well, yep, yep, yep all right eu close right. qualifiers right. round two let's get into this guys uh crimson Let's get right into it. Yeah, this. now this this was this was really good actually. This was a really good series to go back and watch if you've got time to watch ten games. Uh just head over and you know, have a, a day of yeah, PUBG. Yeah, but yeah. this was a really nice season actually uh series actually. Um first off, let's just say Navi are gonna be absolutely gutted. Fourth in the first one and now third in the second one, so they don't get a place at Dreamhack. And they actually lost that place in the final game. They were second um, pretty much all the way, not all the way through, but coming into the last couple of games, they are second place, and Knights, who didn't win a single game of the best of 10, um, but pushed it all the way through, through snaking second places and some high kill games and that sort of thing. Um, so, I mean, really well done by Knights, no doubt about it. Like, they played it well, they survived long enough, they did everything they had to do to get the points. Um, but I know Navi fans are going to be disappointed with that because that was really close down to the wire and they just got knocked off that spot uh, which is I mean, rough. it's not over but, yet it's not over yet so i mean just the thought well of that's there. yeah so there are yeah just to cover that there's five byoc spots available we're presuming that navi are going to take the team over there they sh definitely should because navi have got as good a chance of winning the whole thing as yeah, any of yeah. these other teams um so we assume they're going to bring them over to the byoc i don't know any details about you, that you would hope so and you would hope so you would hope so, yeah. You'd hope so. And so they still got a chance to get in there, but it's definitely a blow that they don't qualify. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Coming literally the, the place below qualifications in both best of tens is, is that's got to be hard um, for them. Vitality, though, I'm really, really happy that right, Vitality kind of played the game that we know they can play um, and they managed to get through. And, you know, it was just consistent play throughout the best of 10 as well, which was nice. So, um, 
yeah, I'm happy with Vitality as well getting through. And yeah, interested to see our Knights with this change in their roster, right? They picked up Texas instead of Survivor. So that's going to be interesting to see uh, how that plays out because Knights have always been known to be a good team. Yep. Uh, Poro, anything or do you uh, have any thoughts, questions, yeah. comments? No, that, with you? That, that, I love Texas. Texas is a fragger. And um, I'm glad to see Knights kind of making their way through. But uh, one of the things that's kind of interesting, I think, that, that you say that Knights managing to get first without – winning a single round. I mean, that's, that's, uh, that's how Tempo Storm won the PUBG online uh, for, yeah. for the whole split. I mean, they never won a single game, uh, but just consistent, you know, high placement. Now, what's going to be interesting is, you know, can you get away with that when you get down to the land, right? Can you can you get away with snaking uh, and, and doing all that and, and not really winning, uh, but not having a lot of kills, Um uh, it's going to be yeah, interesting because I, I think so. well, it's, it's also the fact also the fact now that you have you you have the entire uh south southeastern part of the map essentially for dream hack is set right you have phase yeah, and milta yeah. milta power vitality and milta knights uh right just above them in the prison, in the prison, area, yeah. prison area so that's that's kind of interesting and then secret doing team secret uh from south america doing their like farm split so it's it's funny it's funny that they they're like people are getting so predictable now that, that you kind of know uh right exactly where they're going and then you know once we get to the na kind of a kind of a surprise uh the the other team that you would see from na that would be looting milta not there uh, so we'll have to see what happens there. But uh, for right now, all these areas uh, kind of setting up pretty nicely for these guys. Yeah. So yeah, just just uh, going back to that point about kind of snaking for the second place, yeah. that sort of thing. I mean, the thing with that we'll particular survive. final. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We say snaking. I mean, it's yeah, yeah. not it's yeah, not yeah. always literally not, snaking. Not necessarily, it, not necessarily yeah, like yeah, crawling yeah. on your but, belly for two hours. But to be honest, there was plenty of crawling on his belly. It finished in a it finished in Gacka fields, and uh, you know you know how those things go. Um, mm-hmm. But but with that tactic, I know obviously that was a. You know, I don't want to say I don't want to say luck, right? But it came down to a one v one between um, I think it was Drayden and MBS from Crimson, and it's just a case that Drayden saw Crimson first, took him out, and it could have easily been the other way around. MBS could have seen Drayden first; he would have taken him out, and then Knights wouldn't have qualified. So it's it's not it's not a good way to qualify. Like they yeah. will have been on the edge of their seats for the whole thing. Um, and so you saw the little video, the, the, the Twitter video about how, how pumped and excited they were when they found out. Yeah, they were exactly. In. So, yeah. Good for so them. That's, I mean, I love seeing that. Like, oh yeah. That's, yeah. that's yeah, amazing. Definitely. That's awesome. So yeah, uh, I love the org. I think, I think, and, they, and, they, and it's, and I mean, that's, this is, this is kind of EU's version of wildcard, right? The, yeah, the team yeah. that, that always does really, really well, but has, somehow not managed to make a land well, yet. Well, hey, Poro, they get to make their make That's where I'm land. throwing it. That's where I'm throwing it. The the yeah. NA uh close qualifiers round number 2. That was exciting for me uh at least. I I'm liking the both uh, both the teams that made it. I've been riding the wild card, you know, tail for a while, Poro. I I know you know. <laughs> I know you know. Uh so I'm know, excited. Uh I'm excited for these guys to finally make it to a land. I can't wait for uh Kickstart to go out there and frag out. But uh Poro, throw it to you, my man. What's up? What's up? I mean, Give us the breakdown. Give us the breakdown. Yeah. So so then round two happened for NA, and we have uh, one team that, I mean, at, at this point, it's not really a surprise to see them. No, uh, wild wild card's been playing out of their mind for for a long time, and uh, they just you know up until this point haven't been able to haven't been able to make it to the land. They just like for whatever reason they'll play really really well during the qualifiers one day, and then just the next day it, it, somehow just falling short. But this time, Wildcard pulling it together, managing to finish in second. So they are going. And then we have a, a kind of a surprising team that Rusky. finished first, right? Rusky. Rusky. Uh, Rus- Rusky. Like, I've Rusky, never, Rusky. like, yeah. this, is, this, is a, this isn't one of your, it seems like every land we get one of these. This, this team <laughs> that comes out of nowhere that's just kind of, like, thrown together and for whatever reason are just playing out of their minds. Now, these are all, I mean, it's made up of, people that we all know right yeah, yeah, you got, yeah, yeah. um mad Ruski is the captain uh you got sharky uh shadow and nop nop uh and reno all on this team and they're they're just you know these are guys that have played for teams before yeah, like OGs. They, they've OGs all they've the all been around forever OGs. Uh, and just never really managed to land i mean i think the closest was was not not was on totality for a good while 
uh, and elevate, but all these other guys kind of bouncing between rosters, trying to find that one roster that really, really fits and, and works really well for them. And it seems like they might have found it because they are, I mean, these guys are playing out of their minds right now. So uh, it, it'll be interesting to see if this kind of keeps up, though. That's the thing is that you want to see it, you know, they, they're playing really well right now during the honeymoon phase. Is it going to last for another couple of weeks when we get until we get to land? So uh, I, I really hope so, though, I because so. these guys are they are really fun to watch play. And they have that potato, that potato with the hat, that their envelope. <laughs> and then they also the have, what is it, a bear Beautiful. with the hat as well. It's right? a bear. Yeah. Yeah. Their, their logo's on point. Gotta That's, love it. They yeah. gotta love it. Uh, but Absolutely. if you're a fan of E United, Porter, I know you had the opportunity to yeah. see them out of land, right? You had these, uh, you were there. You were there with one of these, with the team, at least before. Well, not, I mean, not even not even just E United, but E United and, yeah. uh, and, and Set to Destroy, yeah. right? Set I'll to Destroy, win, winning a couple of games, even winning a couple of games yeah. in yeah. the qualifying process and still uh, only managing to come in fourth. So it was, uh, you know, just a wild day of qualifiers. And the, you know, we and we look at some other teams that were that are, I'm, I'm really surprised didn't make it right. Cloud Nine, Totality, Ghost, uh, Optic, Noble, all of these teams not making it. Um, you know, Pure Cloud Esports Nine was, was on actually fire. playing really. They were on fire. Yeah, yeah, Cloud Nine was a nice story because that they first day they yeah. they did not do well at all. I think they were 16th by the end of the first day, or, mm-hmm. or possibly 15th, 14th, 15th, something like that. And then they actually won a game the, the second day, and they they really played really well and off the, on the shoulders of 17. Yeah, 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 and he uh, yeah he did he did really well to be fair. Like he clutched. It was, he did. It was nice. But. So I'm glad to see Cloud Knight kind of pulling themselves together, I guess, a little bit because they've definitely been on a on a rough ride recently let's put it that. <laughs> well and so in the, and this is kind of the other the other thing that's going to make things a little bit e- interesting since this is an na land uh you're more likely oh, to see a lot of these teams yeah, go to the byoc right so yeah. uh yeah. you know it's it i wouldn't be surprised to see optic Set and ghost go. are going to be going i'm sure Op- yeah optic will be there for sure i mean optic, 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 optic live there right <laughs> like a, it's a three hour drive yeah. for them so yeah uh but you know it, it it'll be interesting and I, I mean i hope that we see teams like set to destroy uh and e united the teams that that you know that did really, really well. I mean, so close. E United finishing in third, set to the story finishing in fourth. Like they, they, they played so well that I hope that we get to see them. You know, have their orgs back them and support them and be able to come to this BYOC uh, and try to play their way in because I, I mean, they're playing really well. They're playing really well. Yeah, it's going to be a stacked BYOC. I'm pretty oh. sure. Like, if you want to go there and have, yeah. I'm sorry, but yeah, if you're gonna go with your buddies, just gonna I mean, come you in there. Oh yeah, yeah, maybe we'll see some. All right, some all right. Well, I, I would love to. I would love to see a BYOC, just like a, a random throwing together team of uh, yeah, of, of yeah, a couple of guys, and... just just friends that that got to go and play and, and then actually but, yeah, make their way in. That'd be cool. Yeah, right, me right. and you are going right, yeah, Poro. Yeah, we'll we'll make a team, find oh, some I'll guys. There. I think he's going there. with uh, Matram as well, right, Poro? Or... Uh, Matram. Yeah, I yeah. think Matram's working yeah. the event, so yeah, he's, yeah. he's, yeah, he's yeah, going to yeah. be so part of the casting. You already got the squad. You already got the squad. Uh, I the so I got, the squad. I got easy, my wish easy. though. I got an I got an NA caster. I got an NA caster in there. That makes me happy. You got your wish. He's going to be representing to the fullest for all of us. So. He's, he's going to have the uh, the blazer, the American flag blazer, confirmed. Uh, <laughs> now, but th- we're almost to the end of the show. We have to quickly mention Team Secret, throwing them in the mix for yeah. the qualified teams. Uh, open, open. Whatever you guys want to throw in with them. Yeah, well, I think them. they're the best team in South America, probably. Probably. Uh, I mean, we've certainly seen them before. I don't know. Yeah, the South they seem, to, they, seem, they seem lie, to keep but... making it their way to the lands. So. Yeah. Yeah, and I think they're not bad, but I, I mean, I can't say I expect them to win i can't say i even expect them to get top five but you know it'd be nice if they if they did but i just don't think the south american scene is as developed as the other two scenes and therefore the top teams aren't you know it's harder to get good when you're not playing against the best competition that's fair to say so well, even the best team you know you say that kind of tainted minds where are they from? Uh, see, no this is this is your this is your eu bias coming through <laughs> no, I'm just, uh, the team yeah, secrets course, actually yeah. been, they've, they've been playing in na lobbies uh in a right, lot of right. in a lot of different online tournaments so yeah, they are I've getting they are getting a lot of uh they are getting a lot Experience. of exposure yeah. to to at least na PUBG, uh competitive PUBG, which is i mean i gotta imagine a little bit better than than south american um 
not so not to say anything bad about South America, PUBG. <laughs> it's just it's it's catching up. It's starting to catch up, and yeah. you know this is this is going to be Team Secrets. Uh, I don't know what number, but you know between this and and uh, Chaos Line Gamers, this is I got a it's multiple now. I think this, this is at like, least their second. I, th- I, I think I've seen maybe. Papaya and his his eyebrows. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think this will be his third or fourth, right? Uh, Land yeah, for team, yeah. with pretty Team Secret. Pretty, so, pretty good. So you know this it, it's not like they're going in there completely unprepared. I mean they they have land experience now. They they kind of know what to expect, and that goes a long way. And and just the fact that they've been able to kind of practice and work against uh, a lot of these NA teams uh, and kind of get a feel for what that competitive scene is like uh it, you know i wouldn't i wouldn't be surpri- surprised to see secret end up somewhere in the middle of the table all right all right so <laughs> yeah, uh june 1st sense. through the third right that is when these qualified teams if i'm not mistaken will verse off against the uh bring your own computer teams how's that yeah I, down? I, uh, Crimson. I presume um, but i'm presuming it's going to be saturday sunday they'll probably do the friday the first will be the actual BYOC tournament, then the winners of that will play in the Saturday, Sunday. I don't actually know the format. I don't know if it's announced necessarily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it is, yeah. I, hadn't been, I, don't, I haven't it's seen not, it. If it all right, so we're just speculating at this point. But the yeah, uh, point close. is, it's not over. It's not over yet. A lot of these teams that we may mention of tonight, right on the uh, uh, the line, right? Right on the border of making it, uh, they're going to have another chance. They can still do it. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, you know, I'm going to be rooting for them as well. I, I think they can definitely make it. There's only five spots, though. Five spots. I mean, that, that's a lot of spots. There's still a lot of spots. A lot of spots uh, still up for grabs. So uh, uh, it's going to be it. This is going to be it for, for this episode, guys. This has to be it. Uh, we're going to – Crimson, you got any outro you want to throw out there? <laughs> no, no. Same as well, – I'm where, just going to – Where can they follow you? I, right there on top of your head. Yeah, yeah. You know where – yeah, yeah. They know where they can follow you. But uh, I'm just going to plug um, PUBGradar.com oh, just yeah. because uh, that's run by a friend of mine, Drains. And if you're looking at – PUBG competitive and you want to know where to watch the games just jump on there i'll get dave to put the link down below this video check it out right. and uh yeah it's really PUBG radar so. official sponsor PUBG radar. of the pubcast over here <laughs> they are now whether uh, they like it or not they are now. <laughs> who else coca-cola official drink beverage <laughs> of the pubcast um, poro poro what's yeah. up what's up where can they find you what's up any any sponsors you want to plug in right uh, nah i'm i'm self-sponsored my dude uh, <laughs> at poor source underscore na on twitter uh if you want to yell at me for for anything uh if you want to if you want to clip uh for for the intro to your your sweet highlight video feel free <laughs> just before uh, you get banned <laughs> yeah right before you get banned no uh, uh, yeah you know where to find me. I'm not trying to start. I'm not trying to start drama. You I already, just, you already I, had I, your one controversial. I, hey, you uh, started I, it and you I, finished I, it. Right. You finished it. It's done. I, 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 done. I just <laughs> I, I speak what's on my mind. And, mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. that's, well, that's, that's how I feel, that's and right. maybe I'm full of shit. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. right. we're, we're all full of shit at the end of the day. That's uh, that's the truth. But uh, that's true. Uh, all right, that's it. That's it for this episode. I'm Mustache Dave. I got the Mustache Poro with the polo hat and Crimson over there with that nice fluffy beard. Uh, make sure – I'm actually surprised we don't really uh, receive any criticism uh, as much as I would have thought we do. I want it. You know, Send us some criticism, comments. Yeah. If you want us to cover something on our next episode or a future episode – oh, one thing to note. Uh, who reached out to me again, Crimson, that we're going to try to reach out to him and get him on the uh, – Clinton. Clinton. It's called uh, Clinton. Uh, I've forgotten his uh, Twitter yeah, handle, yeah. Sorry, but he's Clinton. one of the casters but, over it. Yeah, EPL. yeah. We're going to try to scoop you up here, Clinton, get you on the floor, man. Uh, but, hey, feedback. We always love it. We always love it. Feedback. You want to flame us, whatever. You compliment us. We're here. We're here for you guys. Uh, so this has been episode number six of the Pubcast. We'll see you guys next episode.